Okay, so I promise I'm not gonna start every vlog with me running. <laughs> That's, I have like 15 minutes to get to my flight, so let's see what happens. So, spoiler alert, we did make it. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering what happened. Um, taking off from Atlanta, which is a massive airport. Um, so, you never, and then my actual ticket, my boarding pass, didn't tell me which gate we were going to, so I was like, please be close. Um, and then, right now, we're taking off to Lexington, Kentucky. We're gonna get there at 9, and then my day will actually start. Alright, do this! Okay, one more time. All right, so to end the day, we're gonna go through a whole schedule um, of the actual weekend itself, and then we're going to dinner all together as the artists and the speakers and stuff. Um, got the outfit going. When I tell you, the outfit is the most important <laughs> character. Yeah, the outfit. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, it's gonna be really fun. Um, super excited to meet all these different people that I haven't met before in the context of um, Christian business owners. So we ask that you would lead us and guide us in conversation, uh, that you would fill us with your love, your joy, your comfort, and your peace. Uh, we pray that you would bless this food to our bodies. Basically, now it's 5.30 in the morning, and I'm a little bit late, but uh, this whole first day is kicking off with Glenn Lundy's um, uh, Breakfast of Champions. In your image, God, and today we live that out, and we thank you that we are joined together today in a unified heart to show what it looks like. So I woke up this morning, I normally get up at 3 o'clock, today I was up at 2.30. Okay, so now it's 7 o'clock. I uh, just got done with the 1,000th episode of uh, Hashtag Rise and Grind, Breakfast with Champions, Glenn Lundy show, the whole thing. He told a story, he told about, you know, where he came from, how did this whole thing start and happen. All of us have come for this specific reason and it's just because he's connected who he is into his business. And so he's like, we can be the best version of ourselves because of what Jesus has done and we can change the world because of what God is doing through all of us in our businesses. What is it, 7 o'clock, 7.05 maybe? And uh, we still have the first full day to go. We start, we end at 5. Whoa. Thank you guys. By the way, by the way, thank you guys. Go sit down. People have other paths, and other people have other understandings. But because uh, I was watching a video, and I said, <laughs> "Dude, you need to say that video when I'm dead." <laughs> <laughs> I just went over my choreography for uh, hashtag rise and grind. It's some warm up, I don't feel freezing because it's freezing in this place. Uh, I'm so nervous, I'm so excited, I'm so pumped. Um, so, this whole piece started off with a, uh, a flash mob, a virtual flash mob. Um, did the first verse, people copied it, people reposted it, did the whole thing. A um, bunch of people learned it already, just, just out, out of the box. And then we went to a physical conference. So Tamara's like, hey, do this performance, we're gonna do it live. And so I'll be doing a solo to um, Hashtag Rise and Grind by Tony with the Keys, uh, while Tony with the Keys himself is playing and doing the song live next to me. Um, and I'm next to him. So I'm super excited, I'm so pumped, and uh, here's the footage of that. Uh, uh. 
And so that's it. End of day two. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Getting up at like four. Leaving by 4.45. Leave at like six something on a plane. I'm, I'm like dreading it already, but that's a worthy sacrifice for what the heck just happened today. Wore the behind a shirt, talked to people, danced, performed, did an interview where the Holy Spirit was just like, this is what you need to say. And it was just perfect. Got emotionally, mentally, spiritually, businessically, that's the word, wrecked by Heather. Her whole talk just wrecked everyone, me especially. So many connections, so much love. I realized that this whole conference like culminated to exactly what it needed to be. I do this thing. This is who I am, right? I teach dance, I instruct people, I, you know, sell cars, I'm, you know, a therapist, I'm whatever, whatever your business is, like everyone was culminated to the point where everyone was just themselves. Like, I don't listen to rap music, but I do now. I don't listen to country music, but I do now. I can enjoy your identity because I know who I am now. And that stability gives you so much freedom. You don't have to worry and struggle and scrape and you know clutch onto something to make you free. You are already yourself. You don't have to fight for stability. You're already stable in yourself and who God created you to be. And that gives you so much time, so much energy, so much joy for other people and to support other people in their identity, whether they know it or not, whether they know it themselves or not, it doesn't even matter because you have what you have. And so you can be like, you're doing, you're doing you. Okay, do that. And if you don't know who that is, I'm supporting you. I'm supporting you to find that person. I'm, my heart is just so full knowing these people, being around these people and just getting all this stuff that God, my father has given me in these two days. It's just, it's too much to even count. So try to count your blessings. And I say try because it's impossible. You have so much that God has given you and good night.